Hello my lovelies, Chef Kieran Hales here at Zingerman's Coleman Farms. Today we continue the series of talking about my top 10 favourite cookbooks. Um, out here at the farm we've got about 8,500 of them. It's really hard to pick that top 10. Truth be told, I might have picked a baker's dozen. We'll see when we get to the end of the series. Um, this next cookbook actually comes from a little bit of Coleman Farms' history. So back in the day we had an employee who was one of our porters, somebody who helped us move around the tables and chairs, set up and break down events. Um, her sister was getting married and she asked us if we would cater it. Off the cuff, I'm like, of course we will. Um, end up finding out that it was being catered in Austria, in Guntersdorf. Um, one of their family had a castle and they wanted us to be able to go over and cater it. So I had a lot of back and forth uh, with Tabitha, my business partner, whether we would go or not. Um, over the course of about two years, we planned it, uh, got over to Austria, uh, catered the wedding. It was hugely successful. Uh, we actually picked some mushrooms with them early in the morning. Uh, there's these wonderful places in Vienna where they grow coffee. They use coffee beans to grow the mushrooms on in the basements of some of the houses in Vienna. Uh, we also handmade the pretzels with them the day before and then used those as a late night snack handout as they got onto the coach. It was really beautiful. Um, while we were there and on the way back, we managed to stop at a few different restaurants. Uh, so we actually stayed in Vienna, went to Germany, and then went to uh, Ireland and went down to the south of Ireland. But one of the restaurants in Vienna we went to was a place called Plaschut. Uh, it's kind of an off the cuff, quick decision to go eat there. Uh, Tabitha, my business partner, exceptionally good travel uh, guide to take with you. She will find the best restaurants anywhere. Um, this was no exception. So really simple, clean, uh, it's Viennan food as far as the cookbook goes, but for me, definitely based in German simplicity. Um, me being British, my business partner Tabitha, also having some German heritage, this book and the food that we ate there really sings to the foundation of our culinary history. Um, so these are a lot of dishes that uh, pay homage to things that have been adjusted later on in English roast dinners, um, one of the fun things in going through the cookbook uh, when we got it home is in there, I think it's page 119, uh, is the beef roulade, and yeah, 119. Uh, my mum used to make this all the time, so this would be the leftover scraps from a roast when you were cleaning it up, some of the silver side of beef. You would beat it out really flat, marinate a little bit of mustard. You put bacon cornichons in there, wrap it up and slow braise it in red wine and port. Uh, in this cookbook, there's a few other additional steps making it more elegant and beautiful. So they've got some uh, peeled carrots in there. They've also got uh, a little bit of onion going inside it as well. They've got a lot more browning and spices going to the, the mix. So they make more of a stock into this. Um, what's really nice inside this cookbook is they've always got the suggested accompaniment with the dish. Uh, what I really enjoy about the cookbook as far as a chef uh, is the, how simple the methods are. They're in a way that are easy to understand, know what the next step is. Definitely something for a more intermediate uh, cook, not an entry level. Uh, you definitely want to know what you're walking into. Uh, I do like that, again, we're in the metric system, so everything's weighed by grams. Uh, definitely makes for an easier cook. Um, I will say, as far as any of the dishes in here, you're going for something that's simple and elegant. Most of the dishes have three to five different main flavors going on them. It's not high art cuisine, it's high flavor, produced really perfectly and elegantly. Really wonderful cookbook. You can get it online and get it shipped over here. Definitely worth a purchase. All right, let's get on to the next cookbook.